All right, this marks game, the best of three finals in the All-American Summer Shogi Tournament. Um, so yeah, this is a best of three, meaning we have two or three games to be played in this series. Um, and as usual, backseating is not allowed during the gameplay. I don't know whether or not we'll annotate uh, whether we'll do post-game analysis or not. I think our intent is to play games over a span of days instead of multiple games in one day. But we'll see how uh, things go. All right. So... Um, right. This is what we've been trying to learn a little bit better. Um... Let me try not to draw a complete blank on this. So... I'm trying to recall how best to do this. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to switch back to playing 4th Foul Rook here. I think this will be playable. Um, another path is for me to just directly play third foul rook, but uh, this is a possibility. Um, I could inject this edge pawn move, but it does not tend to help in general. Um, Yeah, how shall we play this? So this puts pressure against this file. And yeah, we are both able to develop in some sort of calm manner here. I know we've, in the past, had some exciting games in the teaching ladder where lots of pieces get exchanged quite rapidly. Um, here, I'm hoping for a somewhat calmer game um, in this finals. Hmm. Yeah, let's indicate that Anaguma is a possibility, even if it's not my intention. I can at least have the possibility to change my mind as circumstances permit. Um... So, we will either play Anaguma Castle or play Mino Castle. I'm not sure which. Okay, they... Hmm. This is interesting. <laughs> um...
Hmm. I mean, they haven't ruled out a rapid attack, but I don't see them playing yet for one. Um... Yeah, let's just build Mino, or half Mino Castle. And maybe consider expanding this to Silver Crown. Well, no, if I build this up too high, it gets difficult to hold on to. Right, so... This secures the points so they can't freely push this, but does encourage them to bring a silver out. Um, I'm trying to recall, is this the point at which I bring my silver forward? Or should I have advanced this pawn, perhaps? Or is that still coming? There's just too much to remember. Um, so if my silver moves toward their castle, mm, hmm, I'm not sure. I know I've played a game very similar to this game before. It's not helping my memory. It should be helping, but it just isn't. But yeah, I believe this is possible. I've done this before. Or I'm confused as beyond 4-3. If I continue to move my silver, just how bad an idea is that? Um, Silver 4-3 itself is fine, but beyond that, like, how bad are ideas? Um, so this asks them what they intend to do. Um... I know Diamond Mino certainly is a shape, and I seem to be barreling toward playing it. Um, I can't push this pawn immediately because this bishop could move to 5-5 five, five or here, and this is too hard to defend, but in the future I could seek to advance this. Um, I'm just confused where my other pieces belong in this case. It's sensible for these pieces, these generals, to all be linked together. There's some rationale there, but... Like, I've completely spaced on the move order here. Hmm... <sighs> Okay, this is an interesting pawn shape. I've done things like this before. And it suggests tension. Uh, or at least tension is possible on any front. Um, okay, this is to prevent my bishop from easily moving out on this line. Which I think is fine, because I want to block this diagonal against use from their bishop. But yeah, this... I'm not playing this right, but I don't know how wrong I am. I could try to break open the fourth file, but this doesn't look like a good timing for it. Um, I don't know that there is a good timing. 
But yeah, the ability of their rook to continue advancing is concerning, to say the least. Um, If I could get a pawn in hand, I could do some fun things. But I don't think I can easily obtain a pawn. But I can unblock my rook. And perhaps indicate that I want to like exchange pawns on this file. But also, like, Diamond Mino is a thing, also. It's just, it's a very low castle, and not a pleasant one to... Well, I've used it before. But I don't know what to do with it. Other than it's a really solid shape, but, like, what does it do? Um... So yeah, they've built up many generals in this center here. So this part is difficult to hit. This is vulnerable. This is vulnerable. But the center, with all these generals, is a much harder target. I do not understand. I very much do not understand this. Um, it's aggressive. I like playing aggressive moves. But I don't understand it. Normally you would play this when you're right about to exchange some more pawns and silvers, but I don't see how that happens right now. I might have overlooked something. Yeah, I just don't know. My pieces are definitely tied up here. But um, until they defend the knight's head, I'm threatening to push on the knight's head. So, yes, my bishop's head is a bit vulnerable. And the bishop's right next to the rook. So I guess I'm not actually threatening that. Um, hmm. Um, this is fun. Um, I don't understand. If I push here and then I take here, um, they promote their rook before I promote mine. So confused.
All right, so I can't just sacrifice everything here. Um, okay, now I'm starting to see how these tactics play out. There's definitely a rationale to this. Um, I'm still trying to assess if I do the crazy thing, am I better here? Oh, wait a second. They don't necessarily promote in this position. Um... Should I still pursue this knight? I think this is reasonable. <sighs> Hopefully it is. It looks crazy. But there's some reasoning to it. I want to protect my position. And while the... The bishop exchange in general is not something I'd enjoy here. Uh, I can enjoy some counter-attacking chances if a bishop exchange does occur. Now those counter-attacking chances don't result in mates, so even if I do take this lance, um, taking the lance doesn't make me win this or something. But the silver could join in the attack. Um, but the silver itself also isn't enough to support this. So, it's complicated. If they get a silver, this taking a lance is a lot more complicated than it already is. Um, but yes, separately I'm considering bringing this gold up to try to, like, prevent too many exchanges. Um, I can still chase this knight while their rook and knight are hemmed in. Their generals are just one square too far away from most of this action. So that's why this gold advance, crazy as it looks, might actually work here. So probably their move is bishop takes pawn and I could consider sacrificing my rook here, and if they do take here with their rook eventually, then like I could set up a bishop battery toward the opposing king. Um, they would still take my knight, I would take this lance and start checking them and stuff, but yeah, there's possibilities here.
Also, if they do bishop takes, maybe I just do bishop takes, pawn takes, and I don't know. Chase down this knight anyway. And let them promote the rook, and I take the knight, silver takes. Maybe I get to promote a rook? I don't know. This king is airy. Also, just because their bishop takes doesn't mean I need to react. I could just take here. Bishop takes bishop, knight takes, rook takes pawn, and yeah, they've taken a pawn, but I take here first and promote. They recapture, and then my knight forks their two silvers. So, stuff is possible. If the silver moves to try to defend this, maybe this becomes a little bit looser. I don't know. Throughout all these combinations, I could consider silver up, and they could have this inter in between move of blocking the diagonal, or after bishops exchange, they could still block the diagonal, and my silver might be off sides. So that all might be misguided, but the knight seems like a target. So I think they have to do something about this point. They could also lift the rook to defend this. Which loses a move as opposed to everything else that we're looking at. But maybe a move isn't the worst thing to lose here. I could also consider bringing my rook over to oppose their rook. And maybe should have done this ages ago. I don't know. Because, like, my rook seems pretty well obstructed on this line. Uh, if I'm opposing their rook directly, I mean, yeah, there is an obstruction, but I can... I don't know. It's not like their rook's switching over to this file. But yeah, if bishop takes, bishop takes, pawn takes, rook takes, they can drop a bishop here. I guess I could counter with bishop there. We exchange bishops. They still can't take this. Maybe that's okay. Bishop takes here is interesting. Well, I'm sorry, they could drop on this side force my rook to move, and then they could take my lance. So, yeah, okay, they defend the head of the knight. Not a bad idea. Um, although this means the knight itself is loose now. So now opposing the rooks directly might be sensible. Maybe. I don't know. Hmm.
If I push the spawn, if Rook takes, yeah, my threat to promote is easily countered. And they're still threatening this, so... <clears throat> Do I just take here? If I don't, they take, and then they push immediately. I don't have a counter. Um... Taking here allows them to counter with a pawn drop anyway. Um, Hmm, my rook is not on a good file. I think this is playable. I really don't know. Oh, actually, this could force the silver to move forward and then I could pursue the knight again. That's a possibility. Um... But there's lots of problems with that possibility. So let's not go there. So next up is bringing the gold here. And I don't know. I'm, there's a lot to read and not a whole lot of time to read it in. Like, I would very much like to bring my rook to this third file. And that could soon happen, but it's not yet time for it to happen.
not while my rook is still blocked. I don't want to exchange bishops before I've had some opportunity here. I don't know what, but something better than what I've seen. problem with this is that it doesn't address this weakness. But if they push this, I, if I hit the knight directly, maybe this all works out. Silver up, pawn drop, takes, 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 takes. Yeah, I don't know if that's wise. Also, silver up at pawn takes might be my shot. Um... And they're, like, I don't know, somehow this goal defending the bishop might work out. This also, I was considering gold takes instead of bishop takes. Um, bishop takes, rook takes pawn. I mean, I don't even have to take this. I could, like, move up the gold. And then they pawn drop, and then I have to take this with the gold, so maybe that's not so smart. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is indicating that I'm willing to allow them a pawn drop on my gold's head. Or I might be willing to even do other things here, because my rook has an open line to this square 4-9. So uh, there's actually no need to move the rook again, because now the pawns in front of the rook have been exchanged. Normally we move the rook to try to find an open file instead of trying to open the file for the rook. Uh, oh, right. I forgot this is a possibility. Um, that puts some pressure on my position for sure. Um, if I pawn drop, if they take my gold, I take their silver. I think this is playable. They get to promote first. Um, hmm. I think this is fine. Famous last words, but still, like, if I move this aside, they can drop a pawn in front of my gold, and what can I do? I could exchange bishops and then retreat the gold, and, like, my position's still extremely loose. This seems to be my best counterplay. Obviously, this pawn holding up the silver is loose. So I want to be very careful that if stuff gets exchanged, that like at least some of my pieces aren't hanging.
I guess truthfully, I I don't. It's, the more I look at this, the more I don't like my attack. But yeah, if they just play a calm retreating move, maybe this is okay. But um, yeah, this bishop exchange looks risky. Um, and as much as I want to give my rook an open file, I seem to have not done that. I seem to insist that rook file number four is the correct one for the rook. And this is really stubborn of me, and perhaps will land me in some hot water soon. I'm still debating, like, silver takes, knight takes, gold takes, just how much of a dumpster fire that is. Um, bishop takes, knight takes, rook takes. Yeah, that's pretty dumpster fire. Oh, god. Did not expect this. What was that? I can't back up to see what this taken. They have a golden hand now. Um... That's resourceful. Okay. This lands a move faster than I expected. They're threatening bishop takes pawn. So I can't just completely ignore this. So yeah, I need to exchange bishops here. Or rather, I needed to take the bishop. Exchanging bishops might be horribly flawed. Um, but I needed to take their bishop. Um, hmm. So they have a gold. If I take this, they could just drop the gold in front. So I'm going to go with my original plan, which was just exchange some stuff and see where we end up. Super sophisticated plan. Um, but yeah, now we've got a silver. They have a gold. Stuff got exchanged. This knight is attacked, but... This is not looking smart. If I if they do rook takes, bishop drop, rook takes knight, bishop takes pawn. I guess they could still block with the gold. I could sack the bishop in order to promote my rook, but in general, yeah, rook takes threatens for them to promote first. Um, but in exchange, I would get a knight. And then I could take this pawn later. It's just I don't get to promote first. Uh, yeah, this sucks. <laughs> uh, what do we do? Okay, so they get to promote, and I get to suffer, and this might be a fair exchange. Because they've put in a lot of hard work to attain this position. And I've just gotten lucky to get here, so... Um, I mean, this threat against the Lance is not nothing. Um, it'll be interesting to see, even with 
gold for silver plus a knight plus the promoted rook. Like, does that compensate for the pressure that I'm applying? I'm extremely materialistic, so when I'm giving away pieces, you know something's up. But my spidey senses could be very mistaken, so... Yeah. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. So I wanted to do bishop takes, and could not find a solid counter to bishop takes until just now. Um... Rook takes is still interesting. Hmm. This position. Oh wait, maybe Bishop takes is fine. Counters that looked really solid a second ago. I don't know. My chances here are not terrible. It's unpleasant they could stick pretty much anything on 5-5, and this is not a fun position. But, I don't know. My ability to play the rook over and promote it back here... Makes things a little interesting. And yes, they get a lance. Mm-hmm. So what kind of justified this in my mind was two things. One, this knight's not going to be here forever. Two, like, silver may or may not move up. Um, yeah, let's take this. So this knight is still a target. In theory, I could sometimes sacrifice for this knight. I have an attack. If they do something with a bishop drop here, I can fork their bishop and rook. So they'd need to find somewhere else to drop the bishop. I guess back here is possible. I guess. That, that might be a bit too anxious. I mean, I have to take this, but let's spend some time trying to figure out what's coming next. Yeah, I have no idea. This is a weakness. Um, I want to push the token over. There's a lot of stuff I want to do here. Two knights can be a lot of fun to attack with. I mean, yeah, this bishop is an excellent piece. But Shogi has many interesting pieces. So, like, if I'm forced to sack this so that my token can come over and my rook can promote and stuff like that, I'm not opposed to the idea. Oh, they have a gold drop forking... No, never mind. My rook defends this. But I panicked for a second here. It's hard to keep track of everything. It really is. 
Yeah. So again, I could sack for this. Oh, absolutely, I should sack for this, actually. Um, <laughs> it's just a question of when. But yeah, this is definitely fun. Um, if I allow them to block with another piece, the sacrifice loses its value. Hang on. There's stuff I could do to pump up the value of the sacrifice. Oh my gosh. I don't even have to sack here. If knight takes knight, I could drop a silver here. Oh, right. I'm sorry. They walk right out of my fork. But, even so, like, I've got one hell of an initiative. It would have been even better if I just sacked right away. Um, but now their silver is a target, and I have another knight. And knights are such fun pieces in this game. Um, and if we exchange knights, I could sack a knight here. And then, like, continue sacking and dropping stuff. Eventually this becomes loose, too. I think they needed to add a silver back here earlier. I mean, they still can, too. Because I've misplayed this attack, but... It would have been effective earlier, and it still has some effect now. It actually has a really good effect for them, so they should probably do that. Um... Also, I'm completely forgetting that my rook is in a weird spot. Whoa, I did not foresee this. How did I miss this? Um... I was extremely optimistic about my attacking chances here. Why is my opinion different than it was a second ago? I have to take this. Um, yeah, this is so weird. I struggle valuing the pieces correctly. Bishop takes knight earlier would have been fantastic. Um, because I can pursue an attack with gain of tempo. An extremely rapid attack. Here, I'm actually uh, treading water now. So, I did not do this right. Sanjubyo. I'm still threatening, like, silver drop stuff, but, um, it's not decisive. Okay. In a second, I might need that piece. Um...
30秒40秒50秒1234567891秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10秒10But there are other ways that my rook can advance too. This is just slow. I don't like it. Um. But the idea is that the king is holding the base of the boat and this point. So if I can overload this king, or if I could promote my rook and opportune moment things will be fine well looks like we get our wish after all don't we um This seems fun. Also crazy, but fun. So they have all the pieces now. I'm not sure what I do. They're threatening a bishop drop if I don't do something smart. Um, this just takes away spaces that their pieces could use. Yeah, that's possible. Um, Yeah, I'm extremely at a loss for what to try here. I mean, as I look at it, this looks extremely dangerous, but it's consistent with my other play that just, like, if they just take my silver, 
there's not much I can do. I don't know. It looks, what I'm doing looks scary, but doesn't actually have any teeth, as best as I can tell. Right, yeah, they can pile up on this square. Um, and I thought I had something, but seemingly I don't. We're going to chase this king, even though chasing it's not going to help me at all. Yeah, I don't know how much more I could... Uh, misplay this. But yeah, they have a threat of a bishop drop on my back rank, and it's hard to counter. Um... Not sure what to do. We just have to let the rook go and try to generate an attack. Yeah, if I had brought the rook over, I thought I saw mate there. Um, in this way, I don't yet see the mate. Oh, well, okay. Um, I don't have very far to run. Yes, let's check. If I move my king over, they can take my silver with check. Um, there's not many options here. Okay, and if I take here, their other bishop takes, and that's mate. Yeah, okay, so this does checkmate. Nicely done. Good game. Alright, wow. That was something. Yeah, I tried this crazy attack, and it, it did not work. Yeah, yeah, thanks for the game. Somehow our games always end up with this very exciting feel to them, where we just both go all out on some wild attack. Uh, likewise, yeah. Um, and this game was no exception. Uh, I spared no expense, and yet uh, my attack did not work, 
and their attack did work. So let's have this played out. Um, they read more accurately than I did. Yeah, so yeah, well done. I think this will be a best of three series this weekend, so we'll see how it is that we end up playing remaining games. All right. It's entirely possible that maybe we'll do the rematch, or maybe even the whole best of three on one day. We talked about doing it on different days. Anything's possible, but I think our plan might still be to do it on multiple days. Um, yeah, I could not... I've been playing many different openings, so for us to get into something that I was a bit confused about, it's not too surprising. Um, yeah. Somehow, well, no, I guess they played, yeah. So, wait, they had Senta this game. And maybe that's how I got confused, because normally I don't play fourth file rook as Gota. And so maybe at some point I thought, like, I have time to have one extra move for whatever I want here. Um, there are multiple ways to play this, but... I seem to have picked another thing. Move 54, pawn 4, 7 might be an idea. Yeah, this, this is a fun game. I guess the other thing is like, um, I wasn't necessarily, uh, oh, yeah, so I was, this is a really sharp position. So, bishop takes knight, it's one idea, just threatening to promote the rook directly. Another is move the token, as you suggest here, to 4-7, making that other threat even stronger, which I think is possibly the best move. And yeah, this is sharp. Um, but yeah, we'll wait until he's available to review, although opening Joseki has never quite been my forte. Yeah, this is actually fine, I think. This silver advance is weird. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, it's definitely a sharp position. So, I don't know. Sometimes it feels like I'm trying to play the move to entertain an audience. Even though I'm also entertaining myself, and I do find that quite amusing. Um, yeah, so... We definitely got a sharp something or other out of all this, but this way I approached this position was pretty strange. Pawn drop 6-2. Oh. I'm silver 6-2. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, it was a sharp thing. I don't know what else to say about it. Like, Clearly, stuff happened. Engines will find possibilities that none of us will. Um, I'm trying to ramble on and on a bit while trying to figure out to what extent our opponent wants to do post-game analysis. But, yeah. Nice. Alright. Um, oh, sorry. Maybe I should back up a bit. Um... Yeah, it seems like I always do something a little bit different each game. Uh, 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 so, yeah. Couldn't quite figure out what to do. Um... So, yeah, it seems logical at first, anyway. <laughs> I, I just really don't know. Um... 
I did manage to get the gold here. Um, yeah. My thought was that even if bishop is bishops exchange, um, I can do. Uh, trying to delay the rook promotion. Yeah, over here. Um, It's important to prepare something against quick attacks on the third and fourth files. Yeah. Ah, uh, true. Yeah. Yeah, he might be right. But maybe this uh, this did weaken my camp. So. Um, I also wonder, like, what if I take him this way? This could lead to lots of fun possibilities, I think. Um, It's there's just too much going on in this position for either of us to keep track of. Um, like I would like to attack their king, so at some point we'll pursue that. Yeah, so I take here. Oh, this fork. Um, that's interesting. Okay, yeah, this could be possible too. Um, yeah, lots of tactics. So, yeah, I guess this is where my freewheeling style, my free spirited style, gets me sometimes is that. In trying to do something too clever or too creative, I forget where I'm at. So, yeah. Yeah, this is what I had been looking at, and then thought about this. And I couldn't, there's just too much to figure out, but yeah. Or yeah, I guess bishop, or the gold takes is smartest here. Um, no sense in leaving so many squares undefended. And I couldn't figure this out. So I was trying to think about this, maybe? Okay, so yeah, this is loose. Um, hmm. hmm. Yeah, maybe this position suffers. Yeah, this is so weird. Yeah, this here just got me in a lot of trouble. And if I just tried to do some kind of normal attack, maybe it would have been okay. Yeah. 
Um, so somehow we ended up where we ended up. We both took some really exciting chances. Uh, Oh. Oh. Wait. Wait. So he had some point about this. I wonder what he's talking about here. Oh, really? So this bishop drop... I mean, wonder what else there could have been. I guess maybe there was this? Um, oh, yeah, that bishop drop makes a lot of sense. Then I get to promote a piece and continue having some fun. I was so fixated on this king over here in the corner that. Like, yeah. Uh, even so, this seemed a bit right. So, I didn't know what to do about that. Um, so, my rook is attacked. Right. It could move the rook. Um... I guess then we could promote the bishop. So, yeah, there's stuff here, but I don't know that it's that good for Gota-Senta. Or, I'm sorry, they are Senta. I don't know if it's good for me, Gota. So, yeah, I tried playing a bit more actively than this. Uh, but maybe there's something else here. Um, I guess maybe this directly. I mean, I guess this wasn't my first idea, but this might be a thing somehow. Still, I think I prefer their attacking chances, because they have the gold general. Um... It's not so obvious how we continue here. Yeah. Yeah. So this this all looks kind of suspect on my part, I think. So I think I do need to oops, yeah, I, I need to play what I did in the game. Which I thought was fine. Yeah, well, there is that. So... Um...
Oh, well, actually. Uh, so, yeah, this is actually well defended by more than one piece. Hmm. Yeah, so this looks just very difficult to hold then. So what did I put? I took here. I don't know how to crack this. Um, well, there's an interesting thought. Yeah. Yeah, we have to pressure this from the head, and what better way than this? Because um, I don't have enough silvers to pursue some other attack here. Um, and, hmm. oh, that's right, I could consider taking this. Yeah, that silver drop on three, on uh, seven, one here might be premature. Yeah, this attack would be better if I had more pieces, but wishing that I had more pieces doesn't just make them appear. Wait, do they actually have mate here? I mean, now if they give me these many pieces, surely things must be okay, right? At this point, surely I must have mate there. But, yeah. Um, yeah, giving up the rook might be a little too much. Um, yeah, this, as much pressure as this exerts, I think it's nullified, but maybe I can, like, drop this here, threaten this sort of thing. Um, maybe. I don't know. It really feels like I'm just banking on a miracle. And this time I don't think there is one. Um, yeah, so like... Oh, I forgot. Well, yeah, I'm sorry. Their king could threaten to escape that way, can't it? Hmm, that throws a monkey wrench in everything. It's interesting. Um, hmm. No mate in that direction. Alright, so yeah, this whole... Here's, I just can't sack my rook at the beginning of all of this. Um, 
So I have to like take here. Um. Oh, 60, uh, okay. 60 four, seven token. In this variation, um, in the game. Okay. Yeah. We'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah. Um, He probably wins. Uh, yeah, so folks are excited about both this and this. Um, yeah. It's hard for me to see. But yeah, let's start with this. I think we have to run away or something. Oh, Foradun would play this here. That's pretty cool. Um, so, what's the bloody deal, I wonder? Like, what's going on in this position? Have I missed something? Probably. Even with this pawn in the way, like, this still seems quite powerful. There's just so much to read. And even with 20 minutes per player, I couldn't figure this out. But it wouldn't surprise me if there were actually something here. Yeah. Um. So there's stuff going on in this position. Things and stuff and stuff and things. Oops, oh, shoot, I forgot about that. Um, hmm. Yeah, this looks painful. I don't know how to read this. I don't know, is this playable? <sighs> I guess they do this or something. Like, I'm living on the edge here, but, um, maybe gold takes is supremely unwise. 
Um, maybe we need to do king takes instead. Like, how the hell do you read this stuff? I mean, one move at a time is the answer, but still. Um, yeah, both moves look kind of interesting to me. But I think we still answer it the same way. Um, oh, I see. Uh, wait, yeah. So it's possible this might have been there somewhere. Yeah. And truthfully, during the game, um, I was more excited about the possibility of having this excitement where, you know, maybe there's a mate, maybe there's not, but just the possibility of this excitement seemed more interesting than the outcome of the game. Um... But, hang on, did I miss something here, perhaps? Um, so, yeah, if we go here... Uh, oh, no, that's right, this here. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. And really, that's what I was most concerned with, is producing something interesting and beautiful. Um, yeah. So, while a lot of players would be concerned with, let's just win the game, I was striving to find something like this and got a little bit distracted. Because, like, the goal is to win the game, not to find the prettiest attack. But, you know, if you don't stop and smell the flowers once in a while, what's the journey for? 68-68 token. I think leads to mate. So if we take here... Um... This seems like the obvious rejoinder. Oh! Yeah. Yeah, that looks like mate. That's gotta be mate. It smells like mate. Tastes like mate. There's no way it's not mate. Um, there's just way too many pieces attacking for this to not be mate. Things get more dangerous, I guess, for my king after I sack my bishop, but, yeah. Yeah, there's, like, checkmate everywhere. So, this is all to suggest that running away does not improve this position any. Um... Wonder what else could be tried. We should take seven seven just directly. Yeah, during the game I spent a little time looking at this too. This looked interesting. I just did not see what to try after. Um Oh. Oh god. I thought it was over here. Well, that's embarrassing. Um, so the king can't run out this way. So, oh, well, okay. 
Is there a mate in every variation here? Maybe. Um, so we drop a silver. And I guess... Oh. Oh, jeez. Wow, that would have been really nice. I saw that in the game and I'm like, I don't believe this. It's too good to be true. Um, well, there it is. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, this just wins on the spot. Ah. <sighs> Imagining something here, but uh, that's a little embarrassing. Uh, that would have been a cool way to finish the game, wouldn't it? Huh. So between my rook covering everything in the center of the board and having exactly the right pieces to deliver a checkmate. Um, so yeah, that seals the deal. That would have been an epic, epic way to end this game. Uh, sadly, that's not what happened. But, you know, I think it was cool that we got to see this at least as a variation. Um, so the journey, I think, was worth it. Even though, like, this is still a best of three. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. I cannot type at all. Like, basically anything to defend this. Um, but, yeah, I thought you had to take time to do something to defend this wreck. Um, um, uh, so, slightly different position. Probably a similar outcome, but I don't know for sure. And then I, yeah, this is what I had in mind. And this looked interesting too. So despite them having both bishops, uh, my king's a bit safer here than in the other game line. And I can get more pieces as I need them. Um... I don't know. Somehow I thought things would be fine and I let my guard down and got my butt handed to me so I guess that's the lesson is don't celebrate before the game's over. Um, it might work on other websites but here on 81 Dojo folks take the game kind of seriously. Um,
Uh, yeah. So. Yeah, that's a cool outcome. Um, yeah. So what shall we say now? Um, uh, yeah, I think we're good here. We had quite an exciting game. Uh, yeah, they pulled off a good attack at the end of the game. I played some desperate moves, but there's just no defending against this many attackers. So, uh, yeah, they found this and played it accurately. <laughs> That's the one I sacrificed. Um, yeah. Oh well. And see how that turned on me? <laughs> it was... It's justice that this be the piece that gives the mate. Yeah. Um... So we got several games to play this weekend. We got this. We're eventually going to have our... Well, we have a week to get our tourney to master game played, which will be good fun. Yeah. <laughs> so this marks... Best of three, game one. Um, we potentially have one or two other games in this series for the All-American Summer Chogi. Then after that, or maybe concurrently, we're also going to have Tourney to Master uh, against Fordun. And had I signed up for the Teaching Ladder, which I think this weekend I'm a bit too busy, but had I signed up for it, um, we would have seen uh, more stuff there too. Potentially have gotten paired even more times with the same opponent. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Cool. So, yeah, that was this game. Uh, a lot of moves this game. Uh, I think everybody's just saying thanks and such. We could briefly check on this. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So, um, tournament games always, well, for most players, it's a point of pride to try to win the tournament games. For me, um, yeah, I'd take a little pride in it. But boy, I got carried away looking for creative moves, and oh well, can't win them all. Uh, yeah. Is this Rook 2-2? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that happened in this game. Um, but I think overall it was played well. Um, this opening formation confused me a lot. But despite it being like slightly off the beaten path, I think we corrected and ended up somewhere halfway normal. Um, but yeah, this Bishop Takes Gold was really cool. Um, in post-game I tried to justify Rook takes, I couldn't justify it, so what I ended up playing might be fine. Yeah, but I don't know. Yeah, as uh, Abigail was saying, when playing 3rd foul or 4th foul Rook, it's important to prepare against these attacks that come so swiftly. Uh, definitely easy sa easily said, but... Yeah, when I brought up this silver, 
that weekend to this point. So this was begging for an attack to strike, and one quickly did. And there are safer moves that I could have played, and I just seem not to be good at playing safe moves in openings. So I'll have to meditate on that a little bit. Um, but yeah, hopefully we all enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.